In a game between the Clearwater Threshers and Tampa Tarpons, a batter gets plunked. Players from the Clearwater dugout would make their way onto the field. Then this coach with the Threshers would go to home plate. Tampa Tarpons catcher Augustin Ramirez would throw his arms up and signal. Then a coach with the team would bark back and the Threshers coach would throw the first punch. The opposing coach would miss his target but land on a Threshers player and all hell would break loose. Bullpen catchers, pitchers, and staff from both teams would flood onto the field. Members of the Threshers would surround one tarpon until their teammates broke it up. And finally, the two ball clubs, who are affiliates of the Philadelphia Phillies and New York Yankees, would be separated. One fan on the video would yell, Kick them out! Kick them all out! I don't know how the game would continue if that were to happen. The game slash brawl occurred on April 23rd. All credit goes to John Brophy, who took the video. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel by the same name. Follow him on Twitter at JBProfyBaseball. And check out his website, if you please can, which can be located at Pinstripe Prospects. It is available on his Twitter as well. Here's the latest reporting on the matter. It all went down when Tampa's Alex Bustamante threw a pitch that connected with Clearwater shortstop Eric Brito. Words were exchanged, and the ump made an ejection almost immediately. Thus, the Threshers were ticked and made their way onto the field. Clearwater manager Marty Malloy, who has coached the team for four-plus years, yelled in the direction of Tampa's dugout. Pitching coach Gerardo Casadiego took exception, and the two met at home plate. That's when Casadiego was struck by Malloy, who had already been ejected from the affair. The game would go on to be delayed for about 20 minutes or so, though the final result was a drubbing. The Threshers thrashed Tampa by a score of 12-3. Inside, the Phillies would write, Tarpon's hitting coach, Rick Guarno was also tackled to the ground after his colleague was assaulted. He is apparently okay after trying to defend his friend's safety. Brophy, who covers minor league baseball in the Tampa area, received a tweet that read, I was at the game and I've never seen a brawl at a minor league game. Brophy responded, this is my 12th year going to Tampa Yankees slash Tarpons games, nine as a fan, three as media, and about my 22nd year overall watching minor league games, and this was my first in-person fight as well. They've been chippy all week, though more than I've really ever seen. When he was receiving a tweet about the injuries from the melee, Brophy would reply, both Casa Diego and Guarno are okay from what I've been told. Casa Diego took the first punch and Guarno was punched in the ribs by a handful of Clearwater players and pushed into the netting behind the plate. Via his website, Pinstripe Prospects, Brophy would have a full write-up, which I highly recommend checking out. We will leave all links in the description box below. However, This is a must because it provides the context we need with what led up to words and punches being exchanged.